you've acted, you've sung, you've directed, you've done casting, you've produced. Is there anything you haven't done? I was also the... an agent for a while as well. You're also an agent for a while. <laughs> yes. So you've basically done the, 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 mm. the whole gamut. Yeah. Um, is there anything you haven't done yet that you would like to do? Um, I don't know. Actually, I love what I do at the moment. You, mm -hmm. I think you spend your whole life looking for what actually is the most exciting thing. Mm -hmm. um, Performing was the most exciting thing for a very long time. I'd love to be in Coronation Street as an actress. That's my okay. final thing on my bucket list. Your first production um, here, though, was Dead Sheep. Mm -hmm. And did Johnny Maitland fall out of the sky uh, in, into your office? Well, or No, it was a very extraordinary thing. Um, we live in West London. Um, and there's a whole lot of actors in West London. My husband is an actor. And he was asked by another actor saying, oh, I've got this mate who's a journalist who's written a play and we're going to have a, a read in his kitchen and we're looking for someone to read the part of Geoffrey Howe. Mm -hmm. How do you fancy it? And he said, well, yeah, I'd love to. Um, can I bring my wife along? She's a producer. This is Graham Seed. This is Graham husband. Seed, my husband, yeah. a.k.a. Nigel Pargeter in The Archers. Indeed. Yeah. Um, and so I went along and I went along purely because... Alistair McGowan was going to be there and his wife is a friend of mine and I thought mm -hmm. it would be nice to see her. And I went and it was just a brilliant play reading. And, and I suddenly, and Johnny Maitland said, well, I haven't got anyone to produce it. And suddenly this voice came out of my mouth saying, I'll produce it for you. Um, and that's what happened. So it was the weirdest thing. And did the Park Theatre fall out of the sky on you or did you already... I Park Theatre was not already in your radar screen? It was or? on my radar, but I had, didn't really know very much about it. I knew Jez very vaguely. Um, I sent the script to Jez, um, and he ran with it. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. And we had a meeting, I think, the next week. And then we did a, a reading here. Must have been about six weeks after that. And originally, the Margaret Thatcher character was played by a woman. And Alistair McGowan said to us, have you ever th thought about a man, and what about Steve Nolan? who was famous yeah. for playing Thatcher and Spitting Image. So um, we asked Steve to do it. He came along in his shorts and his trainers and did the reading here at the park. And you forgot he was a bloke within about five minutes and the reading was hugely successful. Mm. And then Johnny went away and rewrote bits of it. And then we did it over the election period yeah. in 2015. I remember it. Yeah. And it was... Uh, to uh, put it mildly, a success. It's now gone it's to... It was a very success. We've now, it's currently on a national tour. Yeah. And we sold out in Guildford last week. Fantastic. Which was brilliant. We're in Bromley's last week, this week in Bromley. Uh -huh. mm. Then we cut forward a bit and lo and behold, there's another play. Well, we cut forward only about two months because Johnny's quite prolific. And um, we had a conversation in a coffee shop in West London. And he said, I'd quite like to write a play about Jimmy Savile. I went, oh, really? And he said, oh, come on, you only live once, let's, let's do it. Hmm. Um, and so uh, he did an audience with Jimmy Savile, which was based on the transcripts of you know, the victims and everything that happened at the time. Um, and we got NAPAC, which was a, a charity involved with um, prevention of... Abusive. Abusive, thank you. Children. children. Yes, yeah. and they, they were very much on board mm -hmm. with that. Um, and that was a huge success, and Alistair McGowan did that, which was a huge success. And back here in the 200? Back, yes, indeed, yeah. And then we took it straight to Edinburgh. We managed to get two weeks in Edinburgh at the festival in 2015, mm -hmm. and it was completely sold out. Then something different, the roundabout? The roundabout, yes. That came to me from a reading that was done at the park, which I didn't actually see, but I knew the director mm -hmm. who had found the piece. And Jez had said to Hugh Ross, who directed it, if you can find a producer, then we will program it. Um, and I love J.B. Priestley. I've acted in J.B. Priestley. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's what we did. And then something um, completely different, but not completely different, because it's Johnny Maitland it's again. Johnny Maitland again, and we wanted to Deny, 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 deny. Yep, which is about doping in the Olympics. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, it's another journalistic approach. He's a journalist, and things he writes are very of the time. So. What is it about about Park Theatre that brings you back here? I mean, is it the box, the, the physical thing, or the facilities, or did it's they the, offer you a three-for-two 
Do you like in a supermarket or? <laughs> no, no. no, it's um, I don't know. It's a lovely place to work. The facilities are fabulous. The space is great. Um, you can either do it, you know, on three sides as we've done with Jimmy Savile the roundabout, or you can do it in the round as we've done with Deny and we do with Dead Sheep. Mm -hmm. so it's a wonderfully adaptable space. Facilities are good. Backup is good. Um, and it's a really arty, creative place to be. Actually, um, it's a great atmosphere. Mm -hmm. I think that, and also people come here too, which is great because I think to do a play here you also have to look to move it on. Right, right. I wanted to ask you then because you have two decades and more actually experience with all the different things that you've mm -hmm. done in theatre. Um, you have all the experience in, in theatre, and I wanted to ask you about where Park Theatre fits in the general ecology. I think of you know theatre here as an ecosystem. Uh, where you've got, you know, the, the towering trees, the National Theatre, and, and, the, and the, you know, the... I think this is very good for small-scale producers. They are very helpful to help small-scale producers, and you... The staff here. The staff, and it's a very good starting block, I think. I mean, uh -huh. there are smaller, you know, smaller theatres like the Fenwar and German Street, and that sort of thing, but this is sort of, there are more seats. Um, they are helpful, um, and they're doing the script acceleration. They help people in all sorts of ways here to build their creative juices, I think, and, and help people move forward, and I think that's a very good space. Producing quality theatre in mm -hmm. this town, in, in, in this country, actually, is it harder or easier or just different from when you started um, out and over well, the years that you've watched? It's different because I've dipped in and out. I haven't done it with the time. Mm -hmm. And when I, the stuff I did at the beginning, I did two, three hundred musicals, small plays. Well, I'm doing a small play now, but yeah. Um, and it was very different then. You know, and I took plays up to Edinburgh and Edinburgh was a different experience of doing things here. Um, I think now we have, and for the last 15, 20 years, we've had wonderful um, stage one, which is a training ground for producers, and they will support you as so much as you allow them to. They mm -hmm. are fabulous. They give bursaries, and they will give you a, a course on how to be a producer, which is the most fantastic networking experience. And then, for me, I was very lucky to get a startup fund, which they gave me a certain amount of money to do my first commercial tour, which is Dead Sheep. And you know, you've got that background and they give you mentors to look after you. And that is just, you couldn't do it without them. I find, I, I, I can't praise them highly enough for that. It's been really good. And they gave me a bursary some years ago to do a show, which mm -hmm. enabled me to do that. Yeah. Um, I, I hesitate to ask what other irons you might have in the fire at the moment, but um, you, you must be juggling things. I'm, yes, because, you know, plays are sort of landing in the inbox all the time. I'm doing a play called Twitstorm here at the Park Theatre next May, yes. um, written by Chris England, who wrote The Evening with Gary Lineker and Breakfast with Johnny Wilkinson, mm -hmm. um, which I'm looking forward to that very much. Um, Roundabout's going to New York. There's a few other things. Um, you know, Dead Sheep and Jimmy Savile may not be dead yet. So this wasn't just a one night or one play stand. This has been, a, it seems to me, this has been an actual relationship. Well, with, with Park Theatre. Oh, yes, totally. Yes, absolutely. I mean, I didn't know it was going to be, but it seems <laughs> to have been. You know, and that's, that's great. We did a reading of a new play here last week, so we'll see what happens with that. And, yeah, Fantastic. It's, it's good. Well, yeah. thank you for coming in, and long may it continue. My pleasure.